Okay, let's use Google Earth to zoom in to Explorer Pass and see if we can do a little bit of uh, post-mortem analysis to see if we could have seen the type of terrain, the cliffy terrain that we, we ended up doing. See if we can diagnose that on Google Earth. So let's go into Utah. And we are heading to northern Utah and the Uinta Mountains, which are right there. And looking for Explorer Peak. Let's see. There it is. And there's the Audison Lakes Basin here. We spent the afternoon here in the Audison Lakes Basin kind of fooling around and just assuming we had a pretty easy traverse over to the north uh, where we were camping north of Explorer Peak. So, you know, we evaluated this route using slope angle analysis initially and both sides of Explorer Pass look to be about the same slope. Uh, the, the south side, which is shown here, uh, looks to be pretty simple. And you can see that um, up to Explorer Pass, which is uh, right about there, um, not, not too problematic at all. There's no uh, major cliff bands in here. There's some tundra stabilized talus and it really wasn't a big deal getting to the top of the pass. Now once we reached the top of the pass we had to veer to the north west um, along the ridge a bit and then find our way down uh, what you see in the center of the frame which there's our cliff bands. So Google Earth can definitely help us identify terrain features such as this. But the real value of Google Earth is being able to go into 3D mode and seeing what the terrain uh, really looks like from different perspectives. And so if we zoom around to the north side of the pass, there's our cliff bands that we had to descend. We actually descended a little bit this way and uh, went into um, a route that took us down the center of the frame right there. So one cool thing, we can kind of turn and see a profile view of all this, and it gives you an idea of how steep the terrain is. But the, the high-resolution satellite imagery is really where it's at here, and that can be really valuable for uh, taking a look at what type of terrain features, how big the rocks are, how big the cliffs are, and things like that. I think if we'd have looked at Google Earth and evaluated the terrain before our trip, I probably would have left Audison Basin a bit earlier to give us more time. Because we ended up doing this route uh, late in the day. I think we were at Explorer Pass at around 6 p.m. or 6.30 p.m. And the weather was really nice, thank goodness. And we just kind of fooled around up at the pass and lounged and took pictures and stuff, not knowing what was ahead of it ahead of us and so we ended up doing uh, the rest of the bottom of this pass in the dark and uh, then ended up kind of cruising over here and camping in this really beautiful meadow basin which we didn't really see how beautiful it was until morning so there's there's an example of how to use google google earth to get a feel for the uh, type of terrain that you could be traversing.